All right, Virgo, I am back now. It is your turn. I just paused it there, um, cleared the cards, saged them, and did my pre-shuffle so you didn't have to watch me shuffle forever. So, Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for May 16th on through the weekend. What is their energy they're bringing to the situation? All right, Virgo, it's the chariot. The person that they are dealing with is the Page of Pentacles. The energy coming in for you is the Ace of Cups. Spirit's advice to you. Is the world and the two of wands. Wow. And the outcome. What is Virgo's outcome for the 16th through the weekend? The Eight of Swords wanted to pop there too, but I'm not going to take it because it didn't come all the way out. Magician is your bottom of the deck, clarified by the sun and the moon. Oh my God, you're dealing with a twin flame soulmate. More than likely, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is a divine partner. Most definitely. Whew. Okay. The reason why I say that is... Um, one of my ways I communicate with my angels is, um, you know, the, the two cards that can come out together, um, and I know immediately. It has to be in their shared energy and not somewhere in the deck. I mean, it can be somewhere else in the deck, but um, this is like my for sure sign. Like, yes, this is it. Um, it's in the shared energy because the first card I pull is a situation. And then the two cards, um, on each side, clarifying it is one of your guys's energies. Each one of you, well, the sun and the moon are the yin and the yang. They are the, the perfect, they work in perfect harmony. Um, and it either has to come out with the magician or the fool. So the situation is the magician. Wow. Okay. So you're moving on out of a situation, Virgo. Moving forward, single, getting out of somewhere that you have been hung up in the past. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, you showed up quite a bit in Taurus's reading. Um, you could be moving forward from that. But if you're not with a Taurus, you're just moving away from a, uh, a person that you have been with in the past. Um, more than likely towards a fire sign. All right, let's see what we got here. Why is the chariot here for Virgo in love? All right, so Virgos with the chariot. This is um, finally um, leaving that tower moment, finally getting out of the wreckage and heading out towards the stars to find healing, to find guidance, to find the person that you're destined to be with. Um, you took a long time to decide this. Here you are coming up in the upright. Um, you didn't take this, this choice lightly. You spent a lot of time going within, a lot of time thinking about this. Um, a lot of time it took you to see the light, to be enlightened, to know that that light was able to be trusted to move out of the situation you're in and into a better situation. Um, the hanged man is in reverse, so the delay is over. So you have the chariot in the upright and the hanged man in the reverse. Fast movement. The hanged man is delay, pause, waiting. With it in the reverse, it is the opposite. Um, because you have gained your sense of self, you have found who you really are. The nine of pentacles has it all, um, in here and the world will soon, uh, represent that as well. You are doing what's best for you and you're moving very quickly towards the fire sign with the knight of wands there. Um, it could be a Leo, um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. We got Gemini. Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, any fixed sign, Leo again. You know what? We got all the signs here, so scratch that. But more than likely, it's with a fire sign. Uh, here's that star card. And no longer being stuck. No longer being stagnant. Um, but with the queen being right underneath there, um, it could be... Uh, a fire sign that you're moving towards. So uh, this person, 
uh, that you're dealing with, they are very cautious. Um, you could have reached out to them. Um, they don't know if they can believe this. This has happened in the past. Um, but you're letting them know that you're no longer stuck, that you have figured out a clear path of where you're going, and you're heading right to the star. You're going to find healing, and this is divine timing. So the energy with this full moon this weekend is going to be that push, that divine, that, um, yeah, the stars are aligning is what I just heard. And it's bringing you this, this opportunity for big love. You know, um, the uh, potential that this relationship could have. And the funny thing is, is the universe says it's a, even bigger than that. So you know the potential and it's even more so because you're both finding love for yourself. The person you are uh, heading towards uh, has been working on self-mastery um, for quite some time. Yep. You're moving out of a situation that has been difficult and moving, allowing your intuition to lead you right to this new abundant beginning in love. Um, this Six of Swords is moving out of that. The rough waters, leaving the baggage behind and um, allowing your inner voice, your inner guide to to lead you. This they're, they're by themselves because you see in this card, that is your inner voice. It doesn't have a face. You know, this is your inner guide and your inner child is um, is allowing yourself to hear that. You know why they always say, you know, children can see ghosts and, you know, see spirits their inner child. So you're allowing yourself to accept that that's your intuition. It's telling you what you need to know and it's going to lead you to this new beginning. Bottom of the deck for that is temperance. It's going to lead you back to your twin. In spirit's advice, most definitely let this era in your life end. This is a big ending. So it's, you know, um, leaving a big job, moving from a big home, ending a, a marriage, a long-term commitment, um, separating something uh, that that occupied a lot of your life in the past and allowing that cycle to end, knowing that um, that it's over and your new beginning is here. Um, this also means you could be traveling, but uh, Spirit's second card of advice is you don't always have to know where this path is leading. Just know that it's going to lead you to happiness and there's somebody not in the picture waiting for you to help lead you, to guide you. Um, more than likely, the person that you are moving towards. Why is the world here for spirit's advice? The emperor, yep. And the two of wands. There is our divine masculine energy. Okay. So, ten of swords was at the bottom. So leave, the, leave all that behind. You are going to leave... Are you going to close out this era, this chapter, this... You're not even going to close out the chapter. You're shutting the whole damn book and starting a new one. Because you're coming in as the emperor, the divine masculine, the yang... Or, oops. You know, you're the divine masculine. Or the divine feminine. It goes either way. But you're leaving the old you behind and coming into power. Taking charge of your life. This advice to you is to take charge. To stand your ground to take back control of your life and to allow things to end that you're not happy in because there's a path that's waiting for you, a path of happiness, a path of joy and real abundance in more things than just money. Um, but you have to um, plant your seeds of intention. You have to know where this path is leading you. You have to know where you want to go. You just don't have to worry about how you're going to get there. So let the universe know what path are you taking? I want to go back to, or, you know, I want to go be with my divine masculine. I want to go be with my divine feminine. Make sure the universe knows the path you're picking um, and make it clear. Uh, plant those seeds of intention because you are about to step into a huge role. In your outcome, Virgos, and through the weekend, you're getting out of your head. You're getting out of those thoughts of feeling like you are absolutely tied and bound to a person of the past forever. You're letting all that go. Yep. You're moving on. You got the chariot card again. Moving away from those feelings and those thoughts of not being able to get out of 
what you're going through. You are strong enough. You're facing your fear. Why is the strength card here? Thank you. All right. Um, so, like I said, you're moving the chariot. You're riding the chariot on out of the... You're, you're moving forward. You're taking action because you're no longer stuck here. You're no longer tied and bound to the thoughts that you have no other option. Um, you're going to offer your love to somebody or somebody is offering it to you because the lovers is here and it's blessed by the universe and you are choosing love. You're choosing to get out of a situation that you're not happy in and you're choosing love, big love, with the person that you're meant to be with. Um, you're conquering your own inner doubt, your own inner fears. Um, you are finding the courage and the strength to face your not so light sides and get that balance um, mastering your own feelings your thoughts um, and you are having the strength and the courage to move towards that queen of wands again um, having a lot of confidence in doing it um, just amazing energy for uh, you virgos finally getting the courage to get out of your head and away from that fear what came out first the sun or the moon the sun did all right all right I'm just looking, I'm just looking through your cards. <laughs> All right, so you Virgos are manifesting a new beginning with a fire sign or somebody who's very, con that has that fire sign qualities, the confidence, the warmth, the, the wisdom, people are drawn to them, the looks. Um, you are manifesting this person most definitely into your life um, for a new beginning. The two of you will work with spirit, will um, be that holy trinity, you know, not only that, but the universe is going to guide you. Your path is going to be clearly illuminated because you're going to work directly with spirit. You're going to, um, be very connected spiritually, um, to this person and to yourself. And it's going to make a very beautiful, um, connection. The universe is going to, uh, illuminate which way you need to go. To make this a success. Um, yeah, this is deep love, deep passion. Uh, letting go of the heartache of letting whatever or leaving whatever you left behind, Virgos, and following that deep passion for somebody, realizing the passion you have for that two of cups um, or for that person that, that holds the two of cups for you. Really positive for you guys, Virgos. Your calling and your soulmate, um, your prayers, your affirmations, um, and visualizations help bring the two of you together. So keep keep on calling that uh, soulmate in because you are most definitely coming back together with this twin, this soulmate. Um, first, you have to get out of a situation that involves a wedding, though. So let's get your guidance card of the day, or of, yeah, well, the day throughout the weekend. What's a Virgo's guidance? needed for the next couple days home <clears throat> okay it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants so you are moving out of a home that has that's cold that has no conversation um some of you are physically moving with that chariot card you got it twice um i'm actually gonna read it out of the book for this one just because uh, okay, it says there's an undying flame within your soul and it's the light, the seed, the spark of your consciousness. Your outer world reflects your inner world. Take a look around your, your home. Does it reflect warmth? It, if not, this is an easy remedy and an oh so important thing to do. It's a simple task of using your imagination to add warmth and warm energy inside your home. By home, we are not, by home, we are not guiding you to your physical address. Home is within your heart. It's within your soul. Your inner world must reflect your, your outer world must reflect your inner world. Your inner flame must respond in a way that you live with passion. This will increase your energy level and automatically shifts outward towards everybody for the better. Watch how these simple, simple steps recharge the flame within everyone this flame cleanses away negativity and brings in a new and bigger irresistible invitation this often means you're moving to a new home 
a new person is moving in or someone is moving out or there is an increased romance and harmony within a couple. Wow, know that your home, within your home, is always safe and protected. It's crazy that the first thing I said was, oh my God, this is your twin flame. And this card was all about finding the flame within your soul again. Um, they're not talking about a physical home home. They're talking about the home within you. It's time to bring that flame back. It's time to bring the flame back to your soul. If that isn't crazy that that came out, I don't know what it is. That's amazing.